What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. Sorry I haven't loaded a video in a little bit, but I just got back from a family vacation in Florida. It was a great time, and I wanted to do a quick update on the Morel project. So our five-day soil temperature is averaging around 34, 37. So I decided it would be a good time to check on the morels. Um, so basically I've been taking soil temperature readings at, in the morning um, for five days and it finally reached above freezing. Now there's a website you can go to, I'll post it in the link um, below the video. And basically it tracks the soil temperature over time and the idea is that once the morels have a sustained soil temperature around 47 to 50 degrees or so out in Colorado, um, they'll begin to form their sclerotia and fruiting bodies. Now, over the past 10 years, there's lots of data on this. You can check out the website for yourself, so I won't get too deep into that. However, once it's above freezing for about a week or two weeks, um, I feel comfortable enough to start watering our patch. So until then, it has just been sitting um, with this shade cloth and then this tarp over the, the hoop house. And once it gets um, definitely above freezing, I will introduce my misting system so that for about two or three weeks, um, I'm going to be misting the soil every day However, I just wanted to take a peek and show you guys what's going on. So over the winter, we have had some really nice mycelium growth. You can see this white fuzzy, it almost looks like a powdery mildew. This is the canidia from the mycelium. So these are all of our um, spawn bags that we placed on top of the soil. This one is from Edge and Osborne, how to grow more mushrooms.com. And this one looks really healthy. So um, you can see that the soil is kind of loose with some of our uh, gardening debris. And this right here is an asexual, um, it's an asexual part in the morale life cycle. So Morels can form spores from the fruiting bodies, but they can also form this cell structure called canidia. And basically when a, a, a strong gust of wind comes along, it blows those cells on the surface of the soil across and it can, you know, spread the mushroom in that way. But it's really important to observe this canidia stage during the morel cultivation. And in the previous years, I did see like small amounts like this. However, this is definitely the, uh, the most rigorous canidia that I've seen so far. So um, I'm really excited for this and I'll keep you guys posted. I'm also about to put all of our blocks from our breeding project into fruiting today. And I've got some more news coming up. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that update. I'll keep you guys posted on the uh, progress of this throughout the spring. Hopefully we get some fruits, um, but yeah. So that's the morel after about four to six months. Um, we planted these in the fall. It's finally getting above freezing with our soil temperatures. And then the next stage is going to be misting the, uh, the soil to try to get that sclerotia development. All right, guys, subscribe to our channel if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these and stay tuned for more updates. Um, I'm going to be releasing some more videos now that I'm back in Colorado. <laughs> All right, much love.